Yo, I just want to give you a quick heads up. I'm working on some really dope Kip Toe merch. I'm talking prints, shirts, pins, hats, really cool stuff to inspire you and get your creative juices flowing. I'm really excited about this next step and I can't wait to share it with you. So keep your eyes and ears peeled and it's gonna be coming out real soon. All right, enjoy the episode. Yo, what up, Kip Toe here. Another day in Berlin, Germany. Yesterday, I painted with Bozar and Halleck. Two really cool guys, super chill, really fun afternoon painting with those guys. And today, I'm meeting up with another Berlin writer. His name is Roz, super cool guy, really clean style, so it's gonna be fun. Let's go check it out. You have these crazy artistic movies that don't get a whole lot of box office results. The popcorn movies that get make a billion dollars. Yes, so. yes. So when you make enough videos, you kind of stop caring and you just start creating it because you love it. Yeah. And okay. you do it no matter what. Ja, ich fahre jetzt mal weiter und lass dich überlegen. Wir unterhalten uns dann da. <laughs> Wall doctor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, now it's better. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're at the spot. We got Roz here. We got Stan here. We got Kipto right here. Let's do it, baby. I think Stan's having more fun destroying the wall than of painting course, it. place is freaking huge there's like walls and walls and walls like just meant for graffiti you can come back here and just do like a big jam with your whole crew just take a whole wall this space is outrageous i've never seen anything like this this is just like a big like i don't know this used to be like some factory or something maybe this wall is really good <laughs> yeah that's insane yeah. berlin style how long has this been like this like eight years you said yeah i think like eight years the people started to paint here and then after two or three years everyone in berlin knows about this place yeah. and comes here but you have enough walls you know and everyone can coexist and just paint his stuff and have a good time <laughs> Putting on the finishing touches here. Roz, he's almost done. Stan's almost done over here. We have almost the same colors, but not really. Maybe we're gonna put the orange in the tongue and the mouth there just to make that one piece pop to really match the other pieces. And then maybe add some background elements to contrast their squares and their rectangles. I'm gonna put some maybe black and gray like flowies in the background here. It's kind of like tie the whole thing together. It's like a little uh, Tic Tac. Yes. This video is not sponsored by Tic Tacs. It is. Oh, it of is. Of course. You could take the, the buff and just buff out the whole thing. And I think that would kind of make it look better. 
just take all the gray yeah. and go over it. Yeah. And just then, take it away, right? Yeah. 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 And you just yeah. keep Definitely. that orange square. Yes. And just, and just the orange square. Just orange yes. square and keep I take think everything out. That will fit to yours. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's good. That's a good idea. Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fellas, Yo. the afternoon is done. Your piece is done, Mr. Perfectionist. Finally. Roz finished first. <laughs> Finally, he's, he's with, the, the with the flow here. I think this is a pretty badass wall. Uh, I'm really happy with it. Yeah, oh, yeah. Really. me too. Fits yeah. really good together. It's, yeah. it's really, really cool. Yeah, it's a good contrast between the you know graphic stuff and your character. And yeah, it's it's cool. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Looks like we had to make a plan before. <laughs> almost. Yeah. Yeah. It almost looks like we know what we're doing. I'm used to doing like these these big mural productions, like two or three days, four or five days on yeah. a huge wall with scaffolding and ladders. And I'm not actually quite used to doing these small little bangers. Just one afternoon doing a piece. Back to back days, I've been doing two different walls in Berlin. It's actually like kind of nice and it's super relaxing. You just come out here, you have fun. Like you said, it's a great way to kind of rapidly produce more and more pieces yeah, to fine. kind of yeah. try out different things rather than doing a huge piece every single time. The one who uh, hooked me and Roz up together was Smo. Yeah. He's actually yeah. another YouTube uh, graffiti yeah. artist, so <laughs> go subscribe to Smo if you want. And, and also, uh, subscribe Roz. I'll subscribe to Roz, <laughs> he's new on YouTube. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, was well, nice uh, to meet you, man. Yes. Yeah. Here in Berlin, yeah? Absolutely. Next time you're welcome too. Best part of the day, yeah, we get to go and uh, eat and yeah. drink. Yes. We're having a, a döner, döner kebab, which is a Turkish meal, but yeah. invented in Berlin. Yeah, that's what I have in mind. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay, right. so it's a Turkish guy that came to Berlin, invented the whole cutting it off the stick and putting it into this right. sandwich. And it's got all these veggies and uh, everything like that. Yeah, and the meat and the good sauce, like garlic sauce, you know. Right. It's. Delicious. Classic Berlin food. With a Berliner <laughs> beer. Cheers, man. Get more Berlin than this. Yeah, man. Dankeschön. Bitteschön. <laughs> 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 <laughs>